Well, let's get a legal perspective to this leadership crisis, but definitely the Labour Party. I'm joined by legal expert Evans Ufeli. Thank you very much uh, for talking to us. Now, what are your thoughts on INEC uh, describing Abure's continued stay as national chairman of the Labour Party as illegal and unconstitutional? That's despite the convention that was held uh, back uh, then and uh, an affirmation by the appeal court backing Abure's position in March. Well, the, the convention of 27th of March uh, that was conducted by the Aburu-led National Working Committee that re-elected him was the one that didn't have the consensus of the party. That convention was uh, bereft of the unanimous agreement of all the party members to that effect. So um, if you look at the Electoral Act, such convention ought to be the unanimous agreement of all parties. And the such is entrenched because it is the convention that will produce the new leadership, the new National uh, Working Committee. That's not now the Aburi led National Working Committee. But they had problems with so many members of the party at that time. And Aburi uh, refused to listen to every other consideration, you know, uh, to that effect. So in doing that, uh, the party members had uh, said that that was not um, what uh, the law says to that effect. Now, um, because the governor of uh, Abia State and people and some other members, you know, they had an expanded meeting wherein they elected, uh, you know, Nenadi Usman to midwife you know, uh, a committee that will produce a new National Working Committee. So that particular National Working Committee is uh, what the Amuri led National Working Committee to support. And then they're asking the court to, uh, you know, stop. Uh, they're asking the court to stop INEC from recognizing that body and that uh, uh, to impel INEC to recognize they have really led work, national working committee. So when they filed the suit, they served INEC. Uh, they didn't even want uh, according to them, they said there's no point dealing with the Nanadi, this man's led for, uh, committee. They're supposed to midwife the new national working committee of the LP. So they are now saying that INEC must, you know, recognize them. The court should make an order to that effect. So I think in a counter to that bit, responding to that suit, said that Abure's seniorship, you know, uh, has, has expired by a fruition of time. And as such, um, he cannot, um, you know, grandstand and uh, 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 impose himself as the leader of the LP when such is not coming with legitimacy. So the electoral act is clear on this issue. And it is the party's decision, what is tied to the party's constitution and the party's unanimous decision that supersedes every individual constitution or every group or every carcass constitution. And so Abure has been told that. So it is the court actually that will determine whether or not Abure's tenure is still subsisting. Because what you have in the counter to that bit of uh, the INEC is that Abure's tenure has expired. Though that is what you actually put as an opposition in a suit. I'm so sorry to cut you day, short. Now, not, how not serious I'm, is this I'm, development to the party's participation in the coming Edo and Ondo governorship elections? Well, it, it, it affects it affects the party's. Um, it's going to affect the outing of the party in the coming election. I mean, Edo election is very near, and then the next one coming. Um, it's going to affect them because at the end of the day, <laughs> they, who, is going to, who is going to stand in as the chairman of the party during the election? And how, how do the party intend to go about that election? When until now, they don't have agents, no agents. Uh, you know, the party has not come up with uh, its own um, you know, blueprint for the election because you have two leaderships now. 
one led by Donald Osman, the other led by Julius Aburi. Now, this is the same contest that party have had when Julius Aburi and Lamida Papa, you remember, all through the 2023, down to the elections and all that, and after the election, before they reconcile. Okay, so the ALP have been, you know, stumbling from one crisis to the other. It's like one day, one trouble. Now they are in court. Okay, it is expected that the court will take, uh, 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 give a, a ruling to that effect as quickly as, as possible to put things aright so that if Abure's tenure is still subsisting, he should be able to conduct the, uh, uh, the election that is coming up. If his tenure has uh, lapsed by a portion of time, then he will not be led to the But if the court does not take a decision early on this and allow the two wings to go in during the election, there's going to be a certain level of crisis. And uh, that the court does not want. So I, I, I believe that the court will make a decision as quickly as possible. Well, like you said, it's one day one trouble for the Labour Party. Legal expert Evans Ufeli, thank you very much for sharing your insights.